In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing your oil, we advise adding a pre-draining cleaner to the used oil in your engine. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. And once all removed, slide the crankcase backwards to free it from the holding studs. You can now see the drain nut. Start loosening the drain nut with a socket wrench and a 17mm socket. Then, finish off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil can squirt immediately. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, how to make a collector for liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. On VAG Group vehicles, the O-ring doesn't come apart from the drain nut. We recommend replacing the old nut with a new one every time you drain the oil. Reassemble by hand, then finish off using the socket wrench and a 17mm socket. When performing an oil change, it is necessary to replace the oil filter. Using a small socket wrench, an extender and a 10mm socket, unscrew the three screws on the engine cover and remove it. You can now see the oil filter. With a large socket wrench, a big extender and a filter wrench, release the oil filter flange by turning it anti-clockwise so that it turns easily. Finish unscrewing by hand. Prepare an oil collector, then leave the flange to trip for a few seconds. Put it in the collector in such a way so as not to spill the oil inside. Repeat the operation with the oil filter. Start by cleaning the filter flange with brake clean fluid and paper towels. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they're identical. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber O-ring which is located on the flange washer. Replace it with the one found in the box of the new filter and the one located on the flange stem. Replace them with those provided in the new filter box, making sure you properly oil the surface.
Insert the new filter into the flange until you hear the click that says it has been locked into place. Screw the filter in by hand until you make contact. To tighten it in place, use the socket wrench, the extender and the filter wrench. Careful! With this kind of oil filter, the new joints can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the oil filter housing. Put the engine cover back in place. And screw the three maintaining screws in place. Put the protective crankcase back in place and screw it down. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, lower your car back into the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Now, add the oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath. Remove it again. And check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed.